Let's kick things off with the original iPhone 2G. Released back in 2007, this iPhone was so groundbreaking, it practically made bricks jealous. If you ever needed a self-defense tool, this could double as a formidable weapon. Steve Jobs wasn't just unveiling a phone, he was revealing a secret weapon for the apocalypse. Jokes aside, this thing is absolutely useless nowadays. This is because this particular phone is running on the oldest iOS possible. Most of the websites won't even load. You can use it only as an overpriced calculator since it's getting more valuable every day. Fast forward to 2011, and we've got the first major redesign with the name iPhone 4S. For the first time ever, Apple decided to make you pay more money for its new stainless steel edges and the glass back. Oh, it was just there to keep us on our toes, making us ask, will it shatter this time? But hey, at least it introduced us to Siri, our virtual side chick. I mean, sidekick who understands us half the time and pretends the other half. Now let's talk about the iPhone 6, the supermodel of smartphones. This time, Apple didn't know what to change because the iPhone 5S was already perfect back then. Apple was probably lacking money, so they decided to remake just the display size and round out the corners. This iPhone is thin, sleek, slippery, and prone to bending like it is auditioning for a yoga class. Those were the days when pockets became the ultimate stress test for your phone's structural integrity. They also added this anti-stress feature. Skipping ahead to 2018, we find ourselves in the era of the iPhone XS Max. The XS probably stands for excess, because why settle for a regular-sized phone when you can carry a tablet in your pocket? With this redesign, Apple removed the home button because it used up a lot of possible screen space. Face ID made us feel like secret agents unlocking our phones with a glance. We got back the infamous stainless steel frame, which not only makes it feel more premium, but also makes it a pocket-sized dumbbell. You could finally say you've been hitting the gym, even though you scrolled through TikTok. What's up, Steve Jobs? How are you? Are you alive? Okay, you are still dead. Please make your phones cheaper. In broth. Please. And now, the culmination of years of design wizardry, featuring a screen so large, it's practically a portal into another dimension. It's so advanced that it can predict your thoughts. Well, almost. Siri's still working on her mind-reading skills, but she's autistic. Uh, I mean optimistic. The camera, it's practically a DSLR strapped to the back of your phone because who needs a separate device for photography? Dynamic Island. The evolution of iPhone designs from humble beginnings to the futuristic, uh, things we carry today. Apple has kept us on the edge, making us laugh, cry, and question our life choices. What's next for the iPhone? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. It'll be more powerful, expensive, and probably come with an AI girlfriend or boyfriend. What's up?